in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my tips, my tricks, how I study in PA school. Yes, you heard it. And how I'm able to get them A's, okay? So let's get into it. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Sutra and I post PA related content. I did want to stand up for this video because, I don't know, I'm feeling energetic today so I'm like, let me just stand up. I didn't feel like sitting down so. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, I wanted to show you guys my cute scrubs. I'm not gonna lie. First, very important, this is probably like the most important thing, is making sure you have your st study schedule together. But what I do is, I go through my syllabus, I go through my school calendar, I input all of my exams into my personal calendar, and then based on where my exams are, I'll like add in study dates and review dates and all of that good stuff. I like to have at least three days of studying, reviewing the material, learning material, watching videos, whatever it is that I did not understand. I like to have at least three days of that and then I spread everything out in between those three days just so that I'm not like super stressed because that stress will come and get you. That stress will definitely come and get you. And then I like to have one day of reviewing and doing practice questions and I'm not gonna lie to you, like practice questions is the key, is the key to success, okay? Like for me anyways, like, I feel like exposing yourself to the material, the questions, sometimes you even know the material, but answering the questions is where you trip up because you're not like exactly sure what they're asking. And I feel like that was one of my biggest downfalls when I first started PA school, only because I wasn't used to the, the style of questions that they asked. Yeah, definitely have a study schedule, three days learning material, reviewing material, one day practice questions and just reviewing you shouldn't really be learning anything new for that one day i like that one day to be the day before my exam but if i'm keeping it 100 with you guys which i will um sometimes you're not gonna have the luxury of having those three days and that one day sometimes that one day that one day is all you have and what you're gonna do is cram sis and you're going to cram okay and cramming is not the way to go but i do have a cramming system that I'm gonna share with you, okay? So, while you're in class, try to pay attention. I know it might be kind of hard, especially if you have a class that's like four hours long. I know for me, when I have a class that's long, like I start to check out a little bit, you know? But then like still, even if you check out, like try to pick back up, you know? And you can always watch your lectures at home, which I don't like to do that only because I feel like it's, again, it's, it's a time thing. Like you don't have that much time. So if you pay attention in class and take really good notes in class, you won't have to rewatch them at home. But if you're in class and you're not paying attention, you need to rewatch them at home. Rewatch the lectures, it's worth it, like just do it. So once you have your study schedule, let's say it is day one of studying, fun stuff. So what I like to do, I like to look at all the material that I have and sometimes I don't have all of the material because I'm studying like as I go, but I just kind of um, guesstimate what I think. What you're going to do is, if you have like 300, 400, 400 slides, remember you have four days to study, you're gonna divide your slides by th like within the first three days. So if it's like 300 divided by three, you're gonna study 100 slides per day. So while you're studying, this is where you can kind of do like your own thing. I'll tell you like what I like to do. So I like to go through the topics and then I'll watch a video. I use Osmosis just because I find that the videos are short to the point i love the animations i watch them on 2x speed i watch every video on 2x speed again it's a time thing we don't have the time and i promise you you'll get the information because you already heard it in class you're just kind of like reinforcing and picking up on little details that you might have missed in class after i watch my video i go ahead and i go i start going through the powerpoint myself and i like to do anki cards i think anki is great it's how I used to study. I know a lot of people in my class don't use Anki, um, but like a good number do, but a lot don't. I think it's because like maybe the, the interface of Anki looks a little like robust. It looks very computer engineering, I think. I think like when you first look at it, it's kind of like jarring. 
but I promise it's not that bad at all. And I like it because the system allows you to do space repetition and you can kind of like pace yourself and see the material that you know and don't know. I think it's really good. So I make my own Aki cards and I think as you're making the cards, you're kind of exposing yourself to the material as well. And like it's active learning, you know, don't just make the cards and you don't know what you're doing like read the information you just watched a video about it like start talking to yourself a little bit as you're making the cards and don't write every single thing down because there are certain things that you know you know trust yourself that you know these things that's also like a part of the learning process and if you really feel like you actually don't know anything then go ahead and write it down just don't overdo it because it can be really like overwhelming if at the end of the day you have like 400 cards which sometimes happens you just again like it's PA school, baby. Like, we gotta do what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? I like to save, like, the third day of making the cards where the days are done to start studying the cards. So I'll study the cards. And really, the way Anki is made, you should be studying them, like, every day as you go. Because, like, if you know the material, it'll show you it. It'll show you the material again in, like, two days versus if you don't know it at all in 10 minutes and stuff like that. So, like, that's kind of how it works, which is a really good system if you use it how it's intended so recap just in case you got lost a little bit make your study schedule separate what you're going to study within the time allotted that you have um watch videos i think videos are really good make your anki cards i make anki cards but you don't have to make anki cards make your notes however it is that you make notes if you like to write them down if you like to make study guides the point is you're making your notes and you're going to review your notes as you're making them because we want to be doing active learning not just passive learning where we're writing the material down but it's going out the window and we're forgetting it that's pointless and it's a waste of your time so actually like be active and learn the material you gotta learn sis you gotta learn okay we made it to the last day before our exam oh my gosh we are so stressed right so i be stressed hey before your exam you're reviewing whether it is study guides or anki cards and i do make study guides as well depending on the class so that's another thing this is not a one-size-fits-all the way you go about it is you kind of have an overview like a plan which is what i'm giving you right now like a plan right based on the class you're gonna have to tweak your plan because every class is not gonna be the same some you're gonna need more flashcards versus others where you just need to write it down some you just need to look at the powerpoint you know but it's still kind of like the same system so yes it's the day before the exam so now we're reviewing right so we've reviewed all of our study guides, we've re reviewed all of our Anki cards, and then the last thing to do is to start taking practice questions. So I like to take practice questions on Exam Master and your school will give you like some type of resource, whatever it is. Like I think every school gives you a resource that you can use for practice questions. So actually use it. Like we have Exam Master and Osmosis. I find that the os Osmosis questions are incredibly hard and I don't do them unless like, I know the professor likes osmosis and I'll do it or like if I have extra time which never happens so exam master is pretty good because it's like the questions are challenging enough but they're not like biochem challenging if you know what I mean I like to use something called med bullets which their questions are also really hard but it's like again it's, it's they're clinical questions so they're good to like practice and whatever else that you like to use as practice questions go for it sometimes the textbook has practice questions the point i'm making is before the exam you should have at least done a couple practice questions so that when you get on the exam you're kind of familiar with like oh okay and this topic this is kind of how they ask questions so i'm in the middle of studying right now i have an exam in two days i'm going to be doing a little bit of cramming right now so when i cram i basically do everything i said I just do it all in a short amount of period of time and I give more emphasis to the PowerPoint or whatever material it is that the professor themselves uses in the class. So I'll go through all of the PowerPoints, make sure that I understand what I'm reading, and then I'll go through every single one of my Anki cards. And the way that I do this is, like I think I previously mentioned before, instead of having the four categories of good, easy, see it again whatever those are i only have the two the good and the bad and you can do this by using anki's custom study method which just allows you to go through all of your cards and click either good or bad so that way since you know i go through the powerpoints before i kind of have like a better understanding of what it is that my cards are based on and i like to go through med bullets because it has a very good breakdown of everything that you need to know so it's good if you're trying to get like the key points 
and you don't have time for extreme detail, but I do still find that it is pretty detailed. What's up, y'all? So I just woke up from a nap, but I just got news that my exam score is out, so we're gonna check it out together. So yeah, um, I don't know if I'm leaving anything out, but that's literally what I do to study for my exams. And if you guys implement this or if you do something similar, let me know in the comments, you know, um, let me know how your studying is going for PA school. I know it's really hard and it is incredibly challenging, but I promise you it can get done like I do it. And I still find myself able to make YouTube videos and have a clothing brand. You know, sometimes I'm going insane. Sometimes I want to pull my hair out, but regardless i still do what i gotta do you know what i'm saying so you can do it too i know that you can and thank you for tuning into this video like comment and subscribe bye Layla. <laughs>